Greetings. My name is I Am Quartet, and the road to 2K starts now. To help us reach our goal, subscribe. Thank you! Like, share, and comment on all videos. Play the video until the end, even if you're not watching it. This helps YouTube recommend our channel. Oh! What's up, everybody? It's your boy, I Am, I Am Quartet. And I'm Todd, all the greatest me. Welcome to another episode of the Culture Section. Uh, as you can see, uh, we're doing a little different, man. We're doing a little different. Um, let me start out by saying thanks to everybody for supporting the culture section, supporting fans of the culture uh, network. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Check this out. Y'all know Sean King. He's a he's a he's a he's a man of the cause. He's a he's an activist, a member of Black Lives Matter. He made a a statement on Twitter, and I want to get your thoughts on it. He says, "Yes, I think the statues of a white Europe of the white European they claim is Jesus should also come down." Man, you make me angry, man. Put your finger up there so, so it won't go dark. When it, when, it, when it like fades, man, you literally gotta like touch it, man. When it fades. <laughs> I mean, you watched the deal, man. <laughs> you didn't do nothing with it. <laughs> All right. So Sean King said, yes, I think the statue of the white European they claim is Jesus should also calm down. They, they are a form of white supremacy, always have been. In the Bible, when the family of Jesus wanted to hide and blend in, guess where they went? Egypt, not Denmark. Tear them down. I'm real sensitive when it comes to Jesus, y'all. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. Um, I'm not going to say in the past that I, especially with the big argument about whether Jesus was black. You know, it's, that's a big, big, big discussion, especially amongst black people. Now, I don't know if they're discussing it in the church like that, but I know just in amongst black people, that, that I've engaged with, there has been a conversation about that. But never have I heard someone say, take white Jesus down. The only black Jesus I know is Ned DeWino from Good Times, by the way. And I just now, maybe a couple years back, even if you Google black Jesus, you get the, the comedy show and you get about four or five paintings that I think are good paintings. But I, I don't... I don't, I don't I don't know where I stand at, man. Come on, man. What you got, man? Was that a bad joke? That's why you looked at me like that? No, it was all right. Hey, listen, man. In this right here, this tweet. Yeah. You know, he never called Jesus black, though, man. Okay. But one thing he did say was Jesus is not white. Okay. I do not believe Jesus is white either. Okay. According to the Bible that he's probably quoting this from, I don't even know if it really mentions white people at all, man. A white race. Yeah. Some people believe that white people was created in a lab somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> Some people believe that white people is of the devil. Those are their opinions. Mm -hmm. But one thing I do believe is Jesus was not white. <laughs> <laughs> a man traveled all his life, man. He was walking yeah. on boats, on donkeys. He was in the hot blazing sun, man. If he was white and he wasn't, he would be black by then, man. Yeah. He was in the heat of the day. <laughs> you, you know what was really, you know, what really showed that that that, that Jesus oh boy. was not white? What's that, man? The way he rode in, in the city on a donkey. It's me. You know what time it is. You don't think white people would do that, man? <laughs> no. But, but my man demanded that they take down all these white Jesuses. You know what they ain't going to do? They ain't going to take them down. Right. Man, I was watching a video on Facebook the other day. Yeah. It was a black brother, man. He had a picture of the Last Supper. They all was white, shining bright. I was so shocked, man. But then I remember growing up. Exactly. They had the white Jesus in the church. It used to be like this looking, it almost like a carpet or something, man. You know what I'm talking about? It looked like a piece, like a, a rug or something. They used to have it hanging up. I don't know if it was she or what. You remember it? Mm -hmm. And it was the white Jesus. I'm yeah. glad they finally took him down, man. Yeah. Because, matter of fact, it took a guy from the Bahamas. Shout out to you, man. 
I will say your name if you reach out. I'll give you a shout out one time. He said, man, I bet your ancestors, your grandmother, your grandma, maybe even your mother, have a white Jesus in their house. Now listen, he was like, Jesus wasn't white, man. And I was actually kind of embarrassed, man, because I never thought of it that way. Why was there a white Jesus in our house? Yeah. Like a white Santa Claus. Why was there a white Santa Claus, man? <laughs> what happened to the black power? But he said it is a it is a form of white supremacy, right? Yeah. Listen, man, take it down. This is the movement we in now. They taking down all the well, they ain't they trying to. They ain't taking them all down, but we we out here in these streets, man. Yeah. Put them in a museum somewhere. Whoever painted a picture, who was it? You know who painted the picture the last supper? No, I do not. Oh. I really thought you was about to school I, me, man. I can tell you who it wasn't. Who was it? A black man. It wasn't. Because <laughs> it would have been like, you see that Cadillac in the back? I'm just Put it in a historical museum, man, for yeah. history. Other than that, take it down. My man sent a shout-out, though. He got personal. He didn't go to Denmark. Good gracious. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so so here, here's my thing. Uh, sometimes, especially like, because, again, I think through history, we've all had to do what we had to do to survive. So a lot of things, a lot of emotional things we have an attachment to, I think. And I think in our quest to elevate the way we think, you're gonna you're gonna have to you're gonna be extremely uncomfortable. Because the truth of the matter is this, we all work with white people, we work with different nationalities, whatever the case may be. But in order to for them to understand where you're coming from and you to understand where they're coming from. It's going to take some uncomfortable adult conversation. When it comes to Jesus, I always have a sensitive spot because I always feel like people try to make Christians brainwashed. That's number one. Number two, they love to say the word religion is like like associated with some type of cult, right? And I'm not even saying that some of the... I'm not even saying that's wrong or right. What I am saying is... Church people are not the ones making these statements. And I'm just going to keep it real. It's, 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 it's non-believers or whatever the case may be, spirituality. So when it comes down to it, I had to, just even thinking about it just now, I totally agree with you. They should come down. Any black church that has a picture of white Jesus, it should come down. I'm going to tell you why, because it's important that the church make a stance we don't have to march out here and protest, but when it comes down to it, if you are a black person, you need to make the stance. Just don't have if don't have no picture of Jesus. Like make read the Bible and just read it, read it, read it, read it, read it till they understand it. Like try to take the visualization out your brain and get back just to to the words that's in the Bible. That's just my personal opinion. Listen, man. Watch this. This is the part where you shut the internet down. Okay. If white people found out that Jesus was a man of color, yeah. boy, they would be no more Christians, man. <laughs> no. It would be a hard pillar for them to say that they worship and serve someone of color. It's sad, man, because I, it might be a stereotype, but on the average... I really believe they want to feel as the superior being. And ain't no way they're going to be saying thank you to a, a, a person of color. Yeah. We worship you to a person of color. <laughs> <laughs> we kneel down before you to a person of color. <laughs> no, I ain't saying black. I said a person of color, color, man. Understood. <laughs> You, you are our savior to a person of color. <laughs> ain't no way, man. Them churches be so empty. <laughs> so many atheists out here. And it ain't, and it ain't from COVID-19. <laughs> it ain't, man. Cause, man, what? I don't know. I don't, I don't know why I do this with you, man. Jesus, <laughs> was, <laughs> Jesus was black. <laughs> ain't no way. This is a dude in the back like this. Like this. <laughs> this is a dude in the back. <laughs> That's his whole look. Whole <laughs> this one time they decided to have an hour and thirty minute uh, uh service. <laughs> I like man, this dude got no emotion. 
But it, you know, cause I, hey man, cause I, cause it, it just it's so touchy, bro. Because people have said so many times that you know, like the clan use religion for the backbone of what they believe, and black people used it, the slaves used it to make it through. You understand what I'm saying? So it's a fine line. Look, man. Oh, when I seen that Jesus, I was like, oh, this man trying to blow the internet up. But again, as we evolve, man, I mean, you, you, I think you're correct. Um, if you don't, if you don't really see it, it, first of all, don't, don't see it as an attack on Christianity. Look at it for what it is. Change is uncomfortable, but it's necessary to get the correct behavior. Ain't no, ain't no white church that's gonna put up no. <laughs> I would love to see what's the dude name? Uh, Rob, uh, Rob Parsley. What's the name? Yeah, man. I would love to see. I would love to see the same painting from Good Times in his church. <laughs> you rather really go pictureless than put that up, man. And he almost supposed to be one of us. Could I say that? Or would that be wrong, man? Yeah, yeah but technically, he, he, I mean, he's, the black people said, that boy can shake. <laughs> hey, you know who? I mean, Imagine Joel Osteen. But, <laughs> come on, man. He, did, he didn't even want to open up the church for the people with the hair. Man. Come on, man. <laughs> what a mighty God we serve. People, I said, please let us in. It's flooding out here. Let me see if my insurance premium is up. <laughs> hey, who else? You know who else can get the business too, man? I'm sorry. Paula White. How you this dude spiritually advising? She straight, she straight, she straight, she straight this soul in the whole religion. Just boom. Here you go. Hey, man. I, what spiritual advice you think she be getting, man? None. <laughs> you think they even really talk, man? No. <laughs> this man, this man, first of all, had the Bible upside down. And there was something else. They asked him what his favorite scripture was. He couldn't even tell him. <laughs> He probably had so many, man. <laughs> yeah, he had so many. The only Bible he likes is the one that's green. You think he actually reads the Bible, man? You think it was his first time touching one in a long time? He was sworn in with it, right? Yeah. <laughs> you think he has one in his house? They said he had an orange glow when he touched the Bible. Oh. <laughs> Yo. What did they call that guy? Why somebody be like, they judging him, we ain't judging him. We just, we just having a laugh. Yeah, having a good time. Listen, <laughs> you think that was a real Bible or it just was a cover of a Bible, man? What do you think, Yo, they, man. Do you think they found that Bible at it? Yo, it could have been a box. <laughs> Don't they, it went in a movie or something where they had like, oh, man, they had a gun inside of it. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, man. That's crazy. <laughs> Boy, it's been fun. But as always... It's your boy, I am Quartet. Todd of the greatest me. Yo, don't forget to follow us on all social medias. Peace. <laughs>